In part two of my financial records lesson, we want to talk about financial records systems. Basically, there's two types of systems that I see uh, as a possibility for you to do. You need to choose which one fits your needs the best and your organizational style. Probably the most easiest thing to do is go down and head to Walmart, your local Walmart, and buy a two drawer filing cabinet. They're not overly expensive, somewhere between 30 and 50, $60. You can have a two drawer filing cabinet and you can keep all your records in this uh, filing cabinet. And while you're there, you might as well pick up a box of file folders and take those file folders and label them. I would put uh, the year in there also. And then all you start doing is you start getting your bills and all these financial records that you need to hang on to. You just start filing them into the file folders. It's, it's quite simple. And then at the end of the year, when the new year starts, you do it all over again. You just get some new file folders, enter the year and uh, organize your files as you need to. You'd be surprised uh, how many years of file folders and records you can get into a two drawer filing cabinet. And eventually that filing cabinet's gonna get full. And when that does, uh, that's usually the time to clean house. I suggest that you go through the file cabinets and records that are old and you no longer need. Go ahead and shred them and uh, reuse the file folders if you can. And there's going to be some records that you're not sure, should I keep a little longer? Uh, do I need to keep these uh, indefinitely? Well, for that case, uh, for those types of records, go hit, hit up Walmart again and buy a plastic container like one of these. And then what you do is you can put all those records that no longer fit in your filing cabinet, the ones that are four, five, six years old, you can put them in a plastic container like this and then file the uh, box away somewhere in a closet, uh, in your attic or even in your basement. By going with plastic, the mice aren't gonna bother it. Uh, you won't get any water damage and those records are safe. Now this is kind of an antiquated system using a filing cabinet along with these folders. Uh, a lot of people do it and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I've since kind of uh, thrown these out the door and I much prefer uh, an electronic filing system. Since so many records these days, especially our financial records, are coming across to us in emails through our iPhones and, and Android phones. It just makes more sense to me to keep my records in an electronic filing cabinet on my computer. So I generally create a folder called records and then I do uh, each year and then I just create folders for all my records and receipts that I wanna keep and file away. And as they come in electronically, I just save them into these different folders. Now, regrettably, not all records these days are fully electronic. We still get a lot of paper uh, records, paper uh, insurance policies, statements, credit card bills. Uh, for those, most people have these all-in-one printers. And all you need to do is uh, take your documents and scan them and drop them right into your your folders. If this is something you really want to do, um, the all-in-one printers are a little slow. I, I recommend going out and buying a dedicated PDF scanner. This is actually the one that I have. They can be a little pricey, anywhere from $100 to $200 for these little devices, but they, scanned, uh, they scan both sides, double-sided scan, and they're much quicker than the uh, scanner on your all-in-one printer. So there again, basically, are your two types of filing systems. You just need to choose which one that you like the best. Do you want to keep all your records um, on the computer and back them up every year just in case something happens to your computer? Or do you prefer the uh, 
old fashioned filing cabinet and file folders. It's totally up to you. You choose, make that decision. Now, as a little bonus to you, if you actually watched and listened to this complete video, what I'd like you to do is email me and let me know which type of filing system you prefer and why you prefer that system. And uh, I'll see that you get five extra bonus points. This could be our little secret, so uh, don't pass it on to your classmates. If they haven't watched the video, they don't get the extra five credit points. Thanks a lot for listening.